It's been a bit for me, too. You did pretty good, though. I was afraid I might leave you behind by accident. <laughs> I certainly had to push myself at times. I'm impressed by you as well. It's much more strenuous to run that far compared to flying. Nah, I'm pretty used to it. Didn't think we'd have company, though. <laughs> Nor did I. It was nice to have them join us. Hey, me! See any cool bugs lately? Mm, no, nope. don't think so. Have you? Yeah, I saw a hoo-hoo beetle. I couldn't catch it, though. Oh, that's really neat. So you're the famous Miho I keep hearing about, huh? Uh, I'm Miho. I don't know about famous. If you're a legend in our households, that's for sure. I've heard all about you from Tommy and Gwen. I'm Elijah, by the way. I'm... Well, you already know who I am. We've met before, though. Have we? Oh, yeah, that's easy to forget. I'm gonna go look for more spiders again. Bye! Don't cause any trouble now, okay? And don't touch anything that's gonna bite you back. Anyway, we met each other a while ago at the Botanic Garden. I caught a bug by accident, and Tommy wanted it. Oh, so that was you, was it? I was trying to remember who we were with. So wait, that means that you're the one who can see Tommy spend Gerby, right? Yep. I can see him right now with Tommy. What's he look like, if you don't mind? He's got a white face and body with purple flower petals on his head and shoulders. And some green leaves for his hair? He has eyes but not a mouth. And he floats! That's exactly how Tommy described him. Wow. Why didn't you think he was real? There's all kinds of fabled, you know? Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Did you have an imaginary friend when you were younger? Well, I did. And Tommy's the kind of boy who would have one, too. Not that Gwen and I thought that was a bad thing, of course, but... Since no one else could see him, we thought he was just pretend. The hearing he's real is still a shock. I'm glad, though. Real glad. In fact, that's why I'm here. I want to try and see if I can find anything in the books about a fabled like him. Not sure why you're able to see him either. Other fabled haven't been able to. 
You're the first person I've ever met who can. Unless I forgot them too. Hmm. I need to write that down. something well, I'm an open book why are you and Gwen getting divorced I mean I've talked to both of you and you seem like you get along because people just change sometimes in different ways but don't get me wrong she's still one of the best people I know we're just better off not being together it hurts but if we'd stayed married it just would have hurt more eventually you have to rip that bandage off it's for the best for all three of us I mean Gwen works her butt off for him too me and her both still have the same goal, and that's to do right by our kid. Mm, that seems rough for Tommy. Yeah, that's the hardest part. We're all still getting used to it, I think. You know what they say about time healing wounds? Well, I'm glad he's got a friend after all. Thanks for letting him play here too. I hope he's not too much trouble. Nah, if he was, I wouldn't let him come back. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, I'm gonna go get a start on that research. With any luck, you'll see me again soon with a few books to check out. Good luck! All right, I only skimmed through these, but they seem promising. So I'll take them home and have a look. I managed to find a picture of another fable that looks kind of like what you were describing. It seems like they're not from the underworld, so there's not a whole lot known about them. Would you mind if we keep in touch? Gwen tells me that's the way to not forget you. Sure, that's fine. Just call me in the morning or night. Another fabled from somewhere else. I wonder if those kids found something to write about.
Come in. Good evening, Miho. What brings you here? Not much. I just wanted to come see you. Are you busy? Not at all. Would you like to sit? Yeah, sure. Would you like some tea? Nah, I'm good. Thanks. Jasper and Fiddlesticks found it a little cold for their liking, so they've been warming themselves inside for a while. How'd you come up with their names? <laughs> I call them after characters from books or acquaintances I once knew for the most part. The names are more for me than for them. Do they answer to them? Oftentimes, yes. Although, I'm sure it's also a convenience for my sake. Makes sense. Words are hard when you're just an animal. Back with my person, I could understand anything they said to me. Just the way they said it. It took a long time as a Gumiho before I learned enough words to understand. Before that, they were just sounds I'd memorized. <laughs> I imagine it's like that for fiddlesticks and the others. Just sounds that they can recognize. That's all language really is, though. talk to them as a bad? <laughs> no. Though I'm sure they can sense that part of me. I imagine it's why they chose the library as their roost. Cosette used to call them pets. They've always been wild. Still, she was the one who first began naming them. Whoa! They've been coming here for that long? <laughs> Not the same bats, mind you. The ones Cosette knew are long gone. Jasper, Fiddlesticks, and the others are from many generations later. I'm glad that somehow they had knowledge of this place passed down to them. Just like the people. Yes, just like them.
Hey, do you want to go somewhere? I don't mind, but what did you have in mind? I was thinking maybe we could go for a walk. Since we're not always awake at the same time like this, I wanted to spend some time with you. I'd like that very much. But isn't it late for you? It's fine. I'm not that tired. Besides, you're always staying up to talk with me, so it's only fair. I see. I certainly can't say no to that. Give me just a moment to get ready, and I'll meet you outside. Okay. It's been a while since we've gone on a walk like this, hasn't it? Yeah. When we delivered some papers, right? I just started staying at the library last time. And now here you are, leading the way. Are we going to Mount Victoria by chance? Yup. Is that okay? Of course. It's been quite some time since I've been there either. Was the last time when you came to my den? Indeed it was. You've gone back a few times though, correct? Yeah. It's one of my favorite spots. Actually, there were these kids who came into the library today. One of them asked me some questions, like what my favorite place in Wellington is. They're doing a school project, so they'll probably come back again. <laughs> That's lovely. You've become a Wellington expert. I don't know about that. I told them you and Aspen would probably be more helpful. They came all the way from another country. Oh, how nice. I'd be happy to assist if they do return. Cool! I'm sure they'd like that. What is this place? Just an open area. I've never been here before. Seeing the bats in your office gave me an idea, though. And what might that be? I just want to go for a walk, like I said. Except not in these forms, but our other ones. I know we just came all the way here, but... You said you don't spend much time as a bat, right? I haven't been spending a whole lot of time as a fox lately either. But it's something I like to do. So... Maybe... I'd love to. Okay, cool.
had to work out like that in years. It's been a bit for me, too. You did pretty good, though. I was afraid I might leave you behind by accident. <laughs> I certainly had to push myself at times. I'm impressed by you as well. It's much more strenuous to run that far compared to flying. Nah, I'm pretty used to it. Didn't think we'd have company, though. <laughs> Nor did I. It was nice to have them join us. <sighs> Thank you, Miho. That was quite nice. Glad you had fun. Wasn't sure if you would or not. It's not the kind of thing I'd have ever done by myself, I'll admit. But I'm glad you brought me out here. You must be worn out. Shall we head back to the library? Yeah, I'm ready if you are. I'll sleep good tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll start breakfast a little later in the morning then. again sometime we don't have to transform but i want to see your favorite places too i would love to yes it's a promise <laughs> 